Hello, my name's Audrey Scanlon. I'm the Bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of Central Pennsylvania, and the Reverend Grant Ambrose has invited me to share a reflection with you on the Collect for the first Sunday in Lent. Let me pray it with you now. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations. And as you know the weaknesses of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so as we begin this season of Lent, we do so remembering the story from Scripture that's recorded in the three synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, that story of Jesus following his baptism, being driven out into the wilderness, driven into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, which is, of course, the time frame, which in Scripture simply means a long time. Think of Noah being out in his boat for 40 days and 40 nights. But Jesus is out there for 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness, and he's there and he's tempted by Satan again and again. And so that becomes a theme for us in Lent to consider what it is that assaults us. That's such a strong word, really. I think of temptation as being something that really that comes in more through the side door. Often I find myself, um, when I am erring and straying from uh, God's way, like a lost sheep, I find myself doing that sometimes a little by surprise, um, not having been assaulted by a temptation, but having had the temptation present itself and suddenly I find myself um, in the wrong place doing the wrong thing. We know our catechism talks about sin as separation from God, as seeking our own will instead of the will of God, and that, that pulls us apart. And so I think the temptations that we consider when we talk about temptations, it's, it's more than um, ice cream and Oreos, <laughs> as much as it is a sense of hubris, of wanting to do things our own way without considering or discerning the will of God in any instance. And so for me, that's what temptation is about. The other thing in this, in this, um, colic that I love is, is pointing out the weakness of humankind and the real frailty that we experience, that we are not God. Uh, we are made by God. We are created beings. And there is a frailty to us, which can be a beautiful dependence on each other and certainly on on God uh, through the Creator, through the Holy Spirit, through the person of Jesus to complete us and to make us whole. And so these are very short videos, just three minutes and I'm past my time. But I do pray that you will have a holy Lent, that you will take some time to explore your own sense of frailty, your own sense of dependence on God, and to, to explore your relationship with God as we enter into this season of Lent. God bless you and guide you and keep you always.